Good morning. You've got um, your very own bog off this morning, two for the price of one. You've got to get into the habit of this supermarket speak. So for those of you that don't know what a bog off is, buy one, get one for free. Right, we'll just flick through the slides that Philip actually neglected to show you of, of Coombe. <laughs> There's our lovely cows. And the gentleman right in the middle is Mr. Warren, who set up the trust way back in 19... Well, he came to Coombe in, was it 1960... <laughs> 40, 40, oh, God. I'm the new gal on the block, you can tell, can't you? <laughs> So we'll flick on to that and through selling to the consumer, which I'll come on to, and our, our environmental credentials, which we're very proud of. Um, the bottom right photograph is part of our PV installation. We've got an installation of 2.7 megawatts on the farm, and as you can see there, those that question the ability for energy and food production to share the same land, it very much can. So the challenges of an organic proposition in the current marketplace. Well, having heard from Philip about the evolution of Coombe Farm, we've learnt uh, very much that being organic in itself just isn't enough. So over the next few slides, I'd just like to share with you some of the things we're doing at Coombe Farm in order to address those challenge and put ourselves and our farmers in the strongest position possible to meet the demands of the retailers. So to start with, just a little bit about the organic milk pool that we run from Coombe Farm. Some facts and figures. It extends to 24 local farms mainly through Devon, Somerset, and Dorset. Um, it extends to over 4,500 cows and over 13,000 acres. And it's much more about just producing the milk. Alongside the day-to-day -day, um, administration of the organic milk pool, we implement support and advise Waitrose on their agricultural strategy. We provide support for their Leckford estate. We <coughs> administer a market-leading milk assurance scheme for our milk pool. We support FWAG and FarmLink. We're co-sponsors of the Lapwing Award. We produce the organic quarterly newsletter. We're representatives <coughs> at um, Waitrose's various groups that they um, have for their primary producers. And effectively, it's, it's pretty much a full-time job, added to which we also step into the breach when they can't come and make presentations. I think what's also really interesting is to have a look at what a, a, a typical coom farm um, farmer looks like. Now, I haven't got any photographs of them to show you, but just to give you a bit of an, an insight, they're certainly willing to challenge themselves, very keen to drive their businesses forward, and open-minded to new ways of doing things. I think that's really important. And Philip touched on the passion, and, and that's very, very true of our milk pool farmers. They're certainly passionate not only about the environment within which they work, but the welfare of, of their animals and their future. And quite interestingly, they all seem to be younger than the average dairy farmer. So back to the challenges. And in our experience, it's absolutely critical to understand the retailer. There's no denying that they're quite a unique breed, but I think we can be sure that they think equally the same of us. Farmers are a bit of an unknown quantity to them, and when you put organic into the mix, it makes it even more complicated. So at Coombe Farm, not only have we worked with Waitrose to develop their agricultural strategy, but we continually align what we do to their four agricultural uh, pillars of their strategy. It's about talking the same language and communicating what we do effectively to add value to the overall proposition. So just taking each one of those in turn, fundamentally, it has to be about security and continuity of supply. Without that, there is no proposition. 
In terms of optimal efficiency, we administer our milk assurance scheme and our team are absolutely methodical about recording data, which helps inform forecasting and planning and business improvement programs. It's absolutely vital to have that data at our fingertips to be able to, to drive things forward. Environmental sustainability, all of the Coombe Farm farms are in five-year conservation plans. And from a wider perspective, we've touched on it, we're certainly encouraging and looking towards what we can do in terms of renewable energy. It's all really positive messages that the supermarkets love. They can't get enough of that sort of um, opportunity to, to portray and add value to their products. And, and lastly, a stake, uh, stakeholder engagement. And we have a very active community engagement program, particularly with local schools. So it's not only just about understanding the retailer, but also the end consumer. Consumers are increasingly savvy and informed about the choices they make, and understanding what they want is absolutely critical to success. So to sort of summarise the Coombe Farm approach, absolutely paramount to understand the retailer and the end consumers. And as Philip mentioned, communication is, is absolutely key in that. Maintain an open mind. I, I sort of touched on this, explaining the sort of characteristics of Coombe Farm farmers. And certainly to take the step of converting to organic is, is a brave and, and very open-minded step. And I think it's really important to continue with that open mind to drive your businesses forward. High standards, and I think this sort of runs through everything, not only in terms of the quality of the product, but the welfare, the environment, hygiene, and, and down to the, the basics of business management and your accounts and, and those sort of fundamental parts of, of running a, a farm that are absolutely important, that quality runs through every bit of that. And be willing to challenge yourself to look at doing things differently. It might not always work, and Philip touched on some of the, the product development propositions that, that didn't quite work, but it's good to challenge yourself. You'll always learn something out of it. Working together, too, is also terribly important, and we encourage active knowledge transfer, working together through the business improvement program in, very, in a very supportive environment where people feel that they um, can contribute openly um, and be honest and we all get things wrong and it's good to sort of help each other out and for people when it's been particularly tough as it has been the, this last year, for people to know that they're not out there alone. And lastly, very importantly, to plan for the future. <coughs> and I think I'd sort of mention this in, in two aspects really. Firstly, in terms of individual business and investment plans to, to secure those businesses and the security of, of the supply into the longer term, but also in terms of attracting younger um, people into the industry to ensure that we've got the bright young things running the organic farms of the future. So thank you very much for listening to us, and um, I hope we were better than Waitrose. You'll never know, so... <laughs>